So, paying $300, this is what you get. Huh. Was going to break my neck. Mini teeny condos. Good morning guys. Good morning from Thailand. Good morning from Bangkok. Check out this neighborhood. Check this street. Check this soil. Of course you are wondering about my sunglasses but I'm not a morning person guys so better with the sunglasses let's go down first of all and show you the facilities that you can get by just paying $300 per month Well guys, this electrical card is so important because it has access to almost everywhere. Not only to your room, but also the gym, the swimming pool. So you have two of it. One of them is the master key and it's for the parking and the main entrance. Welcome back. First of all, I'm gonna show you a little bit around the public areas. Later, I'm gonna show you the swimming pool and the gym and everything you can access while you are staying here at this facility. So you've got space almost in front of every building. It consists of four buildings, A, B, C, D. We are staying at B. And as you see, there are space almost in front of every building. You can sit and enjoy. So this is one of the best things that you are paying $300 for a small unit, but you have lots of public space to enjoy. Now let me show you the gym. Well, that was the gym. Now let me show you the coolest place at this condo. So one of the coolest places at this condo is the swimming pool. But let me tell you that in my entire stay, I have maybe swim two or three times. So it's a cool place to sit and chill, but I usually don't swim. So those were the facilities and the public spaces that you can enjoy while you are staying here. Now let's go and check the main unit. So the first thing you have is the kitchen. As you see, this is the space, 
two people inside and it will be crowded. First of all, let me show you the kitchen. So this is the space, as you can see, you have here washing machine and of course some space to put your stuff. Not that much. You can use all this space you have here too. And at the opposite side, the refrigerator. It's quite big to put your things, but if you have a lot of things, then it's not big. And this is the cooking space, of course, electrical. You cannot cook too much. This is a small condo, but you have this in order to get rid of the smell. And here you have a small space also to put some stuff. So guys, as you see, this is the space, small space. It's not for cooking or big events, but all in all, it's good for your daily uses. Now, let me show you the sitting room. Welcome to the sitting room. So as you can see, you can separate the sitting room from the kitchen. Just like that. So if you want to cook or do something in the kitchen, then you have this option. So I'm gonna show you three things in this sitting room. First, the space that I work, it's a mess. I know I have a lot of stuff, but it's okay. This is the couch, it's too small, you cannot fit, but it's okay. And this is the TV, it's useless, Thai channels, but if you want to watch Netflix from your computer, then it's available. So one, two, three, four steps, and you are at the balcony. You can see from here, this is the main street that you can go to the BTS, it's around 10 minutes walking. And this is a very local neighborhood. If you go like this, you will be in a local market, very cheap, and of course the high-rise condos. Well guys, having a balcony is so important, especially in Bangkok, because the sunlight that you need, the fresh air, and moreover, the view. Of course, it's not that much, but you need it, trust me. That was the balcony, now let me show you the bedroom. Let us start from the positive points, it's comfortable, it's big and moreover you have lots of sunlight. Of course, the same street, the same soy, but what matters, the sunlight is so important as I said. And next to the bed you have space to put your stuff and the closet. You can barely fit your stuff here, but it's okay. So that was the bedroom, now let me show you the bathroom. Now, of course, we are talking about small spaces, but it's good and you have almost everything you need. Now, guys, let's talk about the basic points that you should know while you are renting a condo in Thailand. The location is one of the most important things that you should take into consideration while you are renting a condo, especially in Bangkok. If it's so far from the public transportation, then you are going to put a lot of money for transportation. For example, this condo is only 10 minutes walk to the BTS and that is BTS Prakanum. So you are in the center of Sukhumvit, you are 10 minutes away from BTS Prakanum and you are paying only $300. Now, of course, you are wondering $300 including the facilities. I will say no, because with the facilities, it's around $350 to $400, depending how much you spend. But if you want to take a deal including the facilities, then you are going to pay around $400. So guys, take into consideration, the location is so important. You might find bigger condos with better prices, 
but of course if the location is far from the public transportation then it's useless The second thing that you should take into consideration are the facilities that are included with the rent. And of course, how old is this condo? Because lots of people rent condos, there are no facilities in it, and the condo is so old. So take that into consideration, always check the facilities and how old is the condo, the security and everything available at these facilities before you rent the condo. Now the third thing that you should take into consideration is to check how noisy is the place that you are staying. If the condo is located in a noisy soy, in a noisy street or is it calm? Because it's so important to stay in a place you can relax. Some condos are located just on the street and it's very noisy. So take that also into consideration. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog and had an idea about what you can get by paying only $300 per month. So thank you for watching, stay tuned and subscribe for more from Live Love Thailand.